goodness. Was Faerun always so... dull? Still, at least the company was worth the trip, if not the view. I'm afraid time works quite differently in Elysium. I didn't realize how long I'd been gone until I received Wither's summons. I imagine you're wondering how all this came to be. The finer points of Divine Ascension are beyond mortal comprehension, I'm afraid, but I can provide a rudimentary sequence of events. First, I retrieved the Crown of Carsus and reforged it using a series of precise and highly complex Netherese incantations. Then, I used it. As you know, the orb within me was the half-formed Carsite Weaver, magic left incomplete by Carsus's self-destruction. I finished it. Using the crown of Carsus, I turned it into a new form of magic, fused with my being, driven by my purpose. And then I put it to work. As expected, Mistra was unwilling to hand over the reins of the weave, so... I've claimed dominion over another area which I've... passing familiarity. Ambition. Ha! <laughs> Mortals and their jokes. I did think to bless the heavens with my own inimitable wit, but... alas, most gods are rather devoid of humor. Great as the heights I've reached thus far may be, I've not forgotten my humble origins. In fact, they're central to my doctrine. Those drawn to the Galarian Creator merely seek my guidance as the impressive, all-powerful being I've become. Ambition is about beginnings. It's not just about the heights, but the lows that preceded them. I was nothing. A drifting dust mote of a wizard, abandoned by my goddess, my powers lost, my reputation destroyed. Now look at me now. I'm their proof. Proof their hopes are not barren wastes, but the loamy soil in which their future achievements will flourish. Proof that with ambition, anything is possible. Hardly. I'm simply more honest about my involvement. Not to say I don't help more actively when the cause arises. A whisper in the ear of a struggling artisan. A breeze to flutter the pages of a tome before a frustrated mage. A magical weapon stumbled upon by a desperate would-be hero. I am ambition incarnate. As indistinguishable from that most potent sensation as Mistra herself is from the weave. And word is spreading. There are already several shrines in my honor scattered across the outer reaches of Thay, and rumors of a very prominent temple under construction in Arm. <laughs> this is only the beginning. I believed in you for so much of our journey. It's a pity you won't do me the same courtesy. I suppose it was foolish to expect a mortal to understand. A bold decision to treat a divine being with such cold indifference. You mortals do love to live dangerously, don't you? <laughs>